Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Tuesday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we are expecting for the first time this year, UCL Champions League content inside of FIFA that is SBC related and possibly seeing the first release of the Champions League rare and non-rare items into packs like we saw last year. It's around this time, right after the Once to Watch promo last year when they did this as well. And it looks like today is gonna be the day with Champions League games happening today uh, that we are going to be seeing this content inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. And especially one thing that we have to have to talk about is the Champions League UCL marquee matchups SBCs that could be coming out today as well. So I want to talk about this and how it's going to affect the market because it actually could cause a little bit of a market crash today. Depending on the content that comes out, we could have tradable pack supply. And I want to talk about these UCL rare items that could be coming out as well. Some of them are already in the game. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about related to the market is show you how we've been doing in the past day or so. So this is the graph of the index 100 basically on the day of Monday. Uh, so Monday, yesterday, we actually saw a decent market rise, right? I told you guys this while we were live streaming on Twitch, uh, that there was a lot of rise in price into Monday morning as people invested in cards for a short-term short flip, or maybe people bought cards for their teams because the market was very low after squad battle rewards on Sunday night. And we saw that rise in the market happen into Monday. You can see a lot of the cards that we were looking at earlier yesterday are up they're inflated, but they've actually started to kind of come back down as well. So take a look at this, right? Hyunmin Sun was 220 on, on Sunday, dropped down to right around 197 during rewards, bounced back up to 212 and was kind of around the 210, 215 mark all day and is now back down under 200,000 coins. And this is a very common trend with a lot of these very popular players. Rashford was 180. He went all the way back up to almost to 200. Now he's down to 186. Martial was 160, I believe, at one point and is back down. But Yetter almost went to 100K again. Joe Gomez was over 100K, back to 99. So a lot of these cards are starting to come back down again. I think this is basically people that invested are selling off again. So again, the consistent trend with this market is if you buy a card and you watch it go up in the next 12, 8 to 12 hours, you got to take the coins there because this market is like crashing every single day. And I think that could happen today. I, th I really think that we could wipe out all of this gain that we had since Sunday Squad Battle Rewards. I think stuff could even drop further today. I think it's honestly possible. It all depends on the content that EA releases. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But if you did invest in players, I think I would cash them out if they're meta cards by any means. Cash them out because we are going to have pack supply today, possibly an SBC or two. And that could make things drop down on the market. So what is the big SBC that would make stuff move today? And that is the UEFA marquee matchups. Now we got these a lot last year. As you can see, these were very popular SBCs almost every game week uh, of what, uh, whether it was the, the group stages inside of Champions League or whether it was moving on to the knockout stages. We were getting these SBCs usually on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it was either those two days during a UCL week. And what those SBCs contained were Two, usually two. There was a couple times where it was four different matchups, but usually two different matchups, one from a Tuesday game and one from a Wednesday game inside of Champions League. And we saw two SBCs and a third, uh, you know, reward pack available for completing the set. So like this set last year, you got a small prime rare players pack, which is not a bad pack at all for completing these two SBCs, getting a 15K pack and a prime gold players pack, which I think that might be a 35 or a 45. I forget the kind of packs these are and what their coin value is. But these SBCs cost you about like 25, 30,000 coins to complete. They weren't that hard and you got a lot of packs back. And if this happens with the market and how things are going this year, it might get really, really ugly today. It could get really bad on the market once again because all of these SBCs, people are expecting them, right? That's why I think you're already seeing some of these cards start to drop back down. Like Sun was 215. Now he's back to 198. Rashford's back down some. So I think that is a very, a very good indicator. And since this, just the way this market is right now, knowing that there's tradable pack supply most likely coming, now EA could do the business and make these packs untradable. And then it wouldn't really do as much to the market as it would if they were tradable. But this could be another big time day where we see a lot of prices going down for this reason, right? With the tradable pack supply coming out, people panic sell when they see this. And of course, we have more supply coming onto the game. So it could be another day where you see cards drop down and then also rebound in the next 8 to 12 hours. 
if they're very meta, some of these players up here on the most popular player screen. But also what we could see is movements on the market that are affected by these Champions League cards that come out. Now these cards, I'm thinking, will get released today in packs. Now we have four items already that have been quote unquote leaked and already put onto the game. EA added the search filters for the Champions League common and rare cards earlier uh, and a couple of weeks ago, I think. Actually, it was like last week, I believe. That became searchable in the game. I'm expecting all of the cards, all the applicable items. If, if a player is playing for a club that is playing in the Champions League, they should get either a rare or a common Champions League item that will also be in packs, right? It's also confirmed these cards are going to be in packs because Dest was in packs. And there's like three other cards that are already on the market. And like the only way they could be supplied is through packs, right? This is not like FIFA 19 anymore, where these cards were only supplied on the game by the Champions League packs. These cards are actually in all packs. You can pack the gold card or the Champions League version. So what is this going to do to other players, right? What is this going to do to somebody who is in Champions League, like an Usman Dembele, like an Alfonso Davies? They're basically going to be getting another card with the exact same stats, with the exact same rating, and with just about the exact same drop rate, it's just going to be a blue item that looks a little bit different and looks a little bit cooler. So last year when this happened, there wasn't a ton of market movements that I remember like right off the bat. We wondered last year if the blue cards were going to get supplied a bunch right away and knock down the prices of the golds. That didn't happen, but it could happen today. It is very possible that today, if blue items do come out, for these players and they are in packs sometimes ea messes with the pack weight sometimes you know the, the sbc today some of these sbcs from the past they actually gave you um these champions league plaques like a two two ucl common player pack was the reward for one of those marquee matchup packs back last year in fifa 20. if that happens today you're gonna see a lot of supply or even if it's like if, even if even if it's like a three UCL rare player pack that's going to be a lot of supply for the rares for those UCL rares that are going to be coming onto the game these cards right here and the thing that we'll really have to watch for today is if somebody like again go, going with our example of Usman Dembele if Usman Dembele gets a Champions League rare item that comes onto the market today he's going for 49,000 coins right here right now if he gets a blue card today and the blue card gets so much supply that it drops down below the gold card rating, that is A, it's going to do two things. That is A, going to mean that the, that blue card at some point is going to be too cheap and it could possibly rise back up because these blue cards are always a little bit more, even though ESA, they have the exact same drop rate as the gold cards, it's not true. The, the UCL rare cards have a less uh, percentage drop rate. It's just the way that it happened last year, I would expect it to happen this year as well. Just because it's a special item, it seems to have less of a drop rate. Those cards have less of a rate. So if they drop below the golds today with a lot of supply, that's going to mean that A, again, either the gold card is too expensive and that blue card is going to push down the gold and the gold's going to drop even more, or that gold card is just going to be too cheap and it's going to rebound and go higher. So we're going to have to be really careful with some of that today if that happens. But this is why there's danger for the market to go even lower today, even lower with panic supply, pack supply, panic selling and the possibility for some of these rare cards to just get supplied so much that it actually drops the price of gold cards of the same position, the same player, right? Because all these cards that are the Champions League rares have the exact same stats and the exact same everything as the gold cards do. Now, one interesting thing to note is that there's not any issue with these cards showing up under the special filter because, of course, we're searching Dest here and we do show his Champions League cards. I think if we search under the gold rare filter, it won't show us his blue card. It'll just show us his, his normal one. Uh, and under the all gold, I think it'll just show us his gold cards. It, it won't show us uh, any of his other items. So that's one thing that is kind of nice, I guess, already, is that we are seeing the filters for specials working with these cards. So I know in years past, there's been issues with like specials not working for Champions League cards. That looks to be fixed, at least right now with these cards and the way that it's looking. So again, this is the really, really big thing that could happen today is if we do get a, this these packs right here, these marquee matchups packs, these have always been tradable, right? Looking through all of these past SBCs, literally all of these packs have been tradable. So I would say it's almost a 100% chance unless EA changes something today with the way they're doing Champions League content that a lot of these packs are going to be tradable and it's going to get very, very interesting on 
the market. So again, we do have Champions League matches today as well. Uh, we've got a lot of matches today, right? So who are going to be the teams that could get in marquee matchups? A lot of people have invested in this stuff already. Again, usually they pick one game from Tuesday, one game from Wednesday. I would say that PSG Man U would have to be like the most hyped up game. I bet um, Man U and PSG cards are already a little bit inflated because of this. They could also pick possibly Chelsea and Sevilla. I could see them picking that one. Uh, those would be like the top two Tuesday games I would imagine happening. And then Bayern Atletico or possibly Liverpool Ajax could be the Wednesday SBC. I mean, maybe even Man City and Porto. We'll see what EA wants to decide and wants to do. But um, two of these matches will probably be picked for the UCL marquee matchups, and there will be requirements most likely for those two clubs. So a lot of people like to invest in the UCL marquee matchups, and it can be very profitable. Now, a lot, some people have asked about Road to the Final cards. We won't see those yet. We'll probably see those. I mean, we're only on game... Uh, group stage match day one right now i would doubt that we actually see those until match day three or four probably match day four later into november i would expect road to the finals come out we'll see unless ea drops a madness tomorrow um i don't think that they would drop road to the final cards in the middle of this promo but that is kind of something uh to think about with the champions league stuff that's coming soon right that's just something that we will expect to come so if there is market drops today if there are big panics if, if the market is doing a lot of this right we're seeing stuff go down right if we're looking at drops like this and not you know short rises like this with panic selling and stuff what are some areas of the market that you want to be in tune with right out of packs informs this guy right here this is one of my favorite fluctuations right lozano fluctuates all the time this is still a very valuable card now it's kind of risky with him this week because he's possibly getting into team of the week uh four but this guy goes from like 83k to 95k Almost all the time, man. He was he was 83,000 coins that night and went up to 94, went up to 93 the next day as well from Sunday to Monday. So a lot of these out of packs team of the week cards and even ones to watches will be interesting to keep an eye on today because again, some of these guys do play games today, right? Suarez has a game today uh, on Tuesday. Um, I didn't roll through. I, does Real Madrid play? Real Madrid plays on a Wednesday. Chelsea and Sevilla play. So, you know, guys like Havertz, Timo Werner, and Ziyech, I know it doesn't make sense for their card to rise for a game where they're probably not going to get a special card for for a Champions League match around this time of the year. I don't think they're dropping man of the matches. And obviously, um, these cards don't impact team of the week. But people will still buy these cards up and you will still see their cards rise, especially if they score goals. If Suarez or Werner score goals, I do think you'll see their cards rise up a little bit today. Um, so if you do want to try to be a little bit risky and trade with one of those, be my guess, but again, that does seem a bit more risky to me than some of the average pre, uh, plays that you can make today. In my opinion, what I would do today is you can see that I am almost fully liquid. I've got about 1.1 mil. I have a couple things still flipping on my transfer list. What I would do is if you're wanting to quick trade, if you're wanting to trade at all, icons are probably going to be your best bet or out of pack special cards. Uh, in the next, you know, 12 hours before we actually get the UCL marquee matchups today. Um, but I would stay pretty liquid and look to possibly pick up, depending on the SBCs that we get today. I heard a couple rumblings about a possible flashback SBC today on Tuesday. Uh, so keep a heads up for that. But also, whatever other tradable pack supply we get today, if there is a drop, I would expect a rebound on some of the meta cards because it happens almost every time. You guys like Allen, you guys like Timo Werner, you know you, you know the guys, right? These are the players that, that rise back up all the time, that bounce around. Militao, uh, maybe not Militao, but Ben Yedder, Valverde. Even though their prices are down a lot, people still like to use these cards so much. They're very valuable. They will bounce back in price if we do get some pack supply today. So that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. And of course, the out-of-packs in forums and wants to watch cards are a lot safer because if there's panic selling on those, there's no other supply, right? It's just purely panic selling and then people buying those cards back to put into their team. So just keep in mind that kind of stuff today. There could be some nice little eight to 12 hour flips like we've seen a lot in the past couple of days and even weeks that could be very, very good after today as well. So it's going to be an interesting day on the market. It really is because this is content that we have not seen yet. Uh, and we might not get the Champions League cards today, but I do think that we will get UCL marquee matchups. If we don't get anything today for Champions League, I would be very, very surprised. So with all that being said, that should be the content that we see today inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. It should be Champions League related. It's going to be fun to see what they come out with. If they come out with anything special, I'm not expecting too much except for the marquee matchups. 
uh, but we will see. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan for the Count. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Joke,